coming to you from my conference room again. I wanted to make sure to give you one more graphic uh, to read that has a really unique and interesting history behind it. So this is a graphic nonfiction, and our story involves some of the most famous authors in English literature. They happen to be female. So this title is Charlotte Bronte Before Jane Eyre. And the illustrations are spectacular. So just that alone, it's worth looking through. Um, but this is actually a, a relatively tragic tale. Um, and Jane Eyre is one of the most famous books in literature. So if you are a reading buff, a history buff, you want to know more about those books that people say, oh, you have to have read that if you are um, you know, serious about English. Jane Eyre is one of those books, um, and it took me a long time to read it. And also, to be honest with you, it's not my favorite. But the story behind um, the author and the tragedy that occurred in the family was so interesting, and it really enlightens me as a reader and actually makes me want to go back and read Jane Eyre again. So um, our, our character, our author, Charlotte, is um, one of six children. So she is... Um, third in line of the six and she is from a family of five girls and just one son. Her mother is very ill um, as our tale opens and this is really the life of these girls and they live in England and the father's a pastor he does not make much money and so he's really just doing his best and unfortunately his wife passes away and they are left without a mother and so Aunt Branwell comes to help take care of them but he also realizes the importance of, of an education because the only way that these girls are going to be able to um, support themselves even at all if they don't marry well because he doesn't have any way to have them marry um, well and get some sort of dowry is they're going to probably need to be teachers and um, get that education and so he sends them to this school for pastor's kids um, and it is horrific and one of the sisters actually dies and we have the kids coming home again and we have them working together to create these magical and fantastical stories and so um, that's really where the love of writing and literature starts and the rest of our novel really focuses around how are Charlotte and Emily going to make enough money or have enough money for a comfortable lifestyle so they can continue to create art. And this was such a cool book. I'm so glad I read it. It definitely made me go online and do more research and find out like what happened to um, the one male child? Like what was he up to? What was he doing? And then again, the illustrations. This is where um, we learn that at the school that the kids are at, Maria, uh, one of the sisters, dies because there are very unsanitary conditions. Please check out this book. It is a fabulous and interesting read. I think it's really unique. It's something that you may not have said, I'm going to pick that up off the shelf and learn about Charlotte Bronte. But I think that once you do, uh, you'll be inspired to read Jane Eyre and to learn more about that period in history.